get separated from Ryan. And I feel my journey personally as moving away from being animal, which is primarily something if you can, if you can think and talk, it thinks that it's, it's biology, which it's like, no, to be human is something that contemplates everything unlike an animal and that has language okay now getting back to language um beyond being an animal we have we have our own communication system but i'm talking about language is written written down now um it, it holds history it holds all of our human history and i'm not talking about in books Um, the math that is in the science that is inside of the language, especially the English alphabet is math. It's geometry. It's, these are pictures and these are pointing at, if you want to call like how the universe was made and the, and, and the basic truth, like what's operating here in reality amongst men and women who are um, a key to experiencing reality. You know, it's kind of funny. It's because a lot of people think that, well, you know, um, human beings are just um, here as a separate happening, you know, and it's like, no. Um, we don't really know what's going on, how precisely, but we're not just animals placed here and we don't we haven't you know we come from outer space okay um this is my point of bringing up language because the language actually points at what's going on not only in outer space like how we hold and know things how to operate things how to operate everything and i'm not talking about in books i'm talking about in the um in the, um, it's hard to explain this, man. It's math. And it's, and of course, the language can hold the first and the second and the third dimension. And it's all, and, and it's what that, what the third dimension is, is yeah, this is um, our reality itself. This is what we call reality that nobody even knows what that is. God, how does that work? What is the intelligence there? Well, it points right at it. And it's really simple. It's really really simple and that's where you get into the complication of you know what is going on with babylon um you don't need to be babbling on you know if if there is that happening it's because somebody has misunderstood something and and you they need a little bump of like they need a little mathematic equation that's kind of i mean what, what more do you need though really i mean you don't really need much talking. I mean, there are monasteries and places where they just practice, you know, you don't, you don't need it. And I remember it was like last year, it's like at one point I'm just like, you know what, you people need to shut up, shut up. Even though I can see, even though I can see and I can communicate what language is here for and, and all of that stuff, I'm still, it's still processing this thing. The English alphabet is a downloading system where if you really look into it and really know how um, when you really start perceiving its purpose you know um you'll it, it's it's um, a higher learning tool it's a higher learning tool uh, and i would like to say you know because lsd is a higher learning tool and and music is too and then um Food, any kind of good good food, like a drug, is, is a higher learning tool. It leads you into higher learning of like what you're, you as a human being, not an animal. Uh, you have animal, your biology, it leads you into the creator of your creation, who you are, what you are, why, all of that stuff. And, and but um, I'm not talking about in a book. Oh my God, no. Um, I'm talking about the English alphabet, the symbols. Why is um, 
everybody having to learn it and, and it trips me out it's like oh my god look at look at a chinese person is saying hello how are you doing today fucking clear more clear than me uh, or anybody else why do they le learn english because it's from sent from outer space it's an interfacing system that is here to if you really unwrapped it will lead you back into your um into our as a as a, an entire human organism and i would say intellectual properties because you belong to higher intelligences that makes this creation and all creations and the language the the out english alphabet holds holds everything you need to know in such a way that it's not in a book if you start working the key and the mathematics of it yeah it, it, it's um it, it's here it's been here for a long time just like any other medicine like music astrology i mean if you really think about like well astrology you know um needs language to convey and what's really uh, yes when you talk about now what you now i heard a few astrologers on YouTube, this is getting pretty long, long, but they say, um, they call it Ares is the ruler of Mars. Now, R, the sound, Ares, R, you know what R is, right? Do you know what R is? Is R? Who's, who is? Oh man, don't get me started. This is fucking hilarious because, you know, this is funny um, how that everybody confuses everything up with a, a, a mouth noise that it's unnecessary. It's like, well, you know, you don't really need to talk that much. You know, I am and that's all that I am. That's what R is says. And if you look at the spelling, we say Aries. It's wrong. The way that it's spelled is A-R-E. Wait a minute. No, it's, it's, all I'm saying is the A and the R is there. Boom, A-R. That just dry, cut and dry is, is R. And if, if you knew what the A was and what the R was, you would understand the flow of that frequency and what mathematic equation that is. See, I was kind of downloaded as to what that is. Now, what I'm talking about is my third eye symptom. Um... We have higher intelligences, babe. We're not just pulling up out of the fucking mud here. We're pulling up out of, 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 of having our awareness stolen. Now, let me get into the fact that the word awareness has the word war in it. And, and, and you know, you need to be aware. You need to be aware. You need to pull up and, and figure, hey, if, if we're not, it, and all, it's always a war. Um, the, 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 um, martial artist will tell you, it's always a, you're always, you know, keeping your balance, you know, what will you choose today? Will you get on a tightrope and, and fight your, uh, that gravity or, you know, whatever it is, it's always some kind of, it's not a fight, you know, you're aware. Have a good day, you guys.